dolls welcome back to my channel this is Ebony Nikita the Dominican princess and today I'll be sharing with you dolls a couple of my favorite pieces when it comes to sleepwear loungewear lingerie I'll be doing like a little try on a little show and tell of the brand called adore me all of them are pretty cost-effective but they're still very elegant effortless and feminine all right dolls if you are new here I post every week on femininity elegance and homemaking so be sure to subscribe to me down below and now along with this video I'll be doing a coordinating blog post where I give a more in-depth review of the adore me brand and I also do link some more gorgeous pieces that are currently on my wish list and without further ado let's begin this video This video is in collaboration with Dossier. I've partnered with them before in a previous video and they sent me over two new fragrances from their genderless collection. I'm a girly girl so I was kind of like unsure about it but I'll share with you dolls my thoughts about this new collection here. If you are new to Dossier, they do reproduce classic luxury and high-end fragrances at a fraction of the cost, and their fragrances are still really great quality. Their fragrances start out at $39 compared to the other houses, and Dossier does have a good system to where you can return or exchange your fragrance, no questions asked. And another good deal that they have going on is if you buy three fragrances, you'll get 25% off plus free shipping. So I do have a special code from Dossier to you dolls. I'll have it linked down below. This one here is my favorite. It is the Caramelized Lavender and Hazelnut. If this had to be an event, I love doing this, okay? If a fragrance had to be an event, once you come out of the shower, you have on a silky nightgown, and then you apply this fragrance. I think it's very nice. So this is definitely a nighttime evening fragrance because it has that lavender, so it's very relaxing. You have the sweetness from the caramel, and then that warmth of the hazelnut, it just ties everything together. The second one that I have is this one right here, the Sunny Vetiver in Neroli. And as soon as you apply this one, you definitely smell the citrus notes and then a bit of the floral notes but then the dry down I smell a lot of the cedar wood I imagine myself wearing this when I am at the winery at nighttime and they have the fire pit going and it's a summer night it's kind of like cool and breezy or something that I am okay with wearing whenever I'm going out shopping very casually going to the farmers market in the morning I can see myself wearing this one Thank you to Dossier for sending me these fragrances and I'll have their website and their code for you dolls linked down below. So during the week when I was vlogging, I already kind of like did a show and tell of the items that I got from Adore Me or at least the ones that showed up. So I'll try on a couple of the pieces. Let's start with the robes and then the nightgowns. The robes are pretty and they have nice designs the light pink one is like my favorite one the black robe and the red robe those two there they're worth about ten dollars i honestly wouldn't even spend ten dollars on those robes because they're such cheaper quality it's just kind of crazy to me something that you could typically honestly buy from shein I would say purchase it there because it's for a way lower price. When you're trying to look very feminine and cute at home, the last thing that you want to think about is, oh, let me iron this robe before I wear it. Wrinkly robes are not very cute, and with my other robes, I typically do not have to iron them. This one here, it just wrinkles so easily. Robes are supposed to help you look elegant and to help you have that effortless elegance. If you have to iron it, you know, every single time that you wear it, it kind of defeats the purpose of wearing a robe. Their nightgown. Now, I only received one of mine. It's this really cute purple one, and it does have see-through at the bust area, but I think it's, it's actually quite cute. The fabric is comfortable. It doesn't wrinkle easily. I've been wearing it now for like two months, and I really like it. I am interested in trying out more of their little nightgown pieces. Now, 
their lingerie. I really like this one. I think it's sexy. It's very pretty with the lace. I will say their quality is comparable to Victoria's Secret. It's not the most amazing, jaw-dropping, highest quality, but it is good quality. It's acceptable. It's not subpar. I really do like Adormi's designs. I feel like they have great deals, especially during the holiday time, to where you can buy two sets and get them for a really good price. Um, three sets and get them for a really good price. That's why I bought a lot of them. My only problem that I kind to have with their designs it's the fact that they'll do a really sexy bra right something that's like sexy wham pow lingerie and then they'll just do a bikini bottom like spongebob no i'm kidding but um they will do a bikini bottom and i'm just like i'm trying to buy a matching set of lingerie and this is a sexy design why isn't this a thong like at least cheekies right like give me cheekies but don't give me a regular degular and i just feel like if you're trying to look sexy in your lingerie you typically go for a thong like i just feel like it's i'm i just don't get it okay maybe that's just me and they'll typically give you two different style choices but for a lot of them i'm just like where are the thongs buying lingerie i want to look exceptionally sexy like you can wear a bikini panty whenever you're going to work when you're in the bedroom it's just something different i don't know maybe that's just me but that's something that i noticed this one here is cute because it has the lace at the back but i'm like why isn't this one a thong so i found myself looking to purchase thongs that weren't a part of a set like i got this red set here and i bought a separate red thong to go with it they just have too many bra and bikini style panty sets that's just my one qualm this one's such a pretty color isn't it a little blush pink i thought this was really cute it's kind of like a netted crochet lace i wouldn't recommend this one because it's not very soft i'll say it's not the softest crocheted lace if you dolls could see it right here it's just kind of like this netted lace it does have a little bow at the back and honestly this lace here this netted floral fabric it's not very soft so i was kind of disappointed about that this one's pretty cute again it has that wide waistband which is fine this lace is a bit softer than the light pink one and then it does come with this bra and this bra is pretty comfortable so when it comes to the adore me everyday bra set that i wear i recommend this bra set so much because it is wire free and it's fully padded it feels so comfortable this is the bra that i prefer to wear every single day it's sexy looking it does come with a matching panty and it just feels good it feels comfortable i would if i had to recommend one bra and panty set from adore me it would be this one how it will wear over time i will say if, if i had to predict i feel like it'll last as long as a victoria's secret one would i feel like it's a good alternative to victoria's secret if you're looking for new designs if, if victoria's secret isn't having a deal when you really want to buy some lingerie i feel like adore me is a good place to look at my customer service experience i'm discussing that inside of the blog post dolls so in the blog post i'll kind of give my final thoughts on that some of my favorite robes that I wear so often and I feel like they have good quality fabric so you have to be Flora Necruz in Bloom by John Quill and also Midnight Bakery. Now a lot of these brands you can find them at Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue, Bloomingdale's. I do have a couple of nightgowns by her. These ones here you can really just wash them, dry them and they're fine. It has that see-through top right here and on the sides it shows a bit of skin and I just love that. I think it's very Ooh, it's very sexy and feminine and these are a couple of my favorite robes love the pattern of this one and it does have more exaggerated sleeves which I do like I think it's very fabulous and the baby pink on this one is like a light mauvey baby pink and it's just so pretty this one here it's just very soft and comfortable I don't even think that I've ironed this one once a good color scheme whenever you're buying these have one that you can wear year round have one that is a bit more catering to the fall winter season to the more spring summer season and this one here is kind of like my all season this other robe here is by victoria's secret and honestly i had to stop myself from wearing this robe so much the lace detail the ruffle sleeves here it's just so feminine and romantic and it's just kind of like honestly i think it's my favorite robe because of the color and the style it kind of reminds me of like this french boudoir type of feel and i love that about this robe here don't forget to read 
read that blog post where you'd also see links to all of the products that I've shown and recommendations on the Adore Me products that I would buy and the Adore Me products that I would not buy. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you found it to be helpful, entertaining, fun, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to me down below. I do post every week on femininity, elegance, and homemaking. All right, dolls, let me know what video you want to see next and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, dolls. Thank you.